we consider the design philosophy that we've um, that we've really uh, started on. Uh, the, the first one is really to do with building envelope. So the strategy is around uh, neutralizing the impacts of climatic variation through a high performance building envelope. That that's both uh, encompassing the moderation of solar energy that's coming into the building, but also the conductance through the fabric. Uh, but the but um, the important uh, and, the, and the tricky bit around that is um, how, we, how we make the building tight, so avoiding uh, air leaking through the facade, through the cracks between the wall elements, the roof elements and the glazing elements. Uh, and and, and we're, we're addressing that by uh, really working collaboratively with uh, the entire team. So this is one of, the, uh, one of the, the great reasons why we like to work with um, a practice like Arket, where we can develop uh, design strategies right at the start of the, of the process so such that uh, the detailing and the high, level, the high resolution of detailing that's needed in the building envelope to, to lock out those, um, those air, air paths uh, needs, to, needs, needs to be uh, done in a collaborative manner but also right at the start of the project because we need to be able to um, design all those elements right because uh, you can't retrofit those later. So. Um, that aspect around the high performance building envelope is, uh, is, is, a, is a really important uh, driver for getting the energy consumption of this building down. Um, once we've neutralized the loads that are coming into the building and we've uh, reduced the loads in the space, uh, we're, we're now starting to look at um, some, some more uh, top end technology and strategies to, to provide uh, the rest of the sort of building system. So we're considering and looking at um, ground source coupled uh, heat pump based systems for heat generation and also for um, a little bit of cooling to provide uh, heat and hot water to the building. Um, and, when, and we're looking at that in, in conjunction and uh, coupled with a, a whole house ventilation system which looks at um, recovering the enthalpy and the energy that's leaving the airstreams from, from the house and transferring that into the incoming airstreams that we're actively pumping into the building to keep it fresh. Um, so this uh, effectively means that in the Melbourne context, uh, the, the heat that's been generated in, inside the house during the winter will, uh, will be preheating the incoming fresh air that's coming into the building and therefore uh, ultimately meaning in conjunction with the uh, high performance building envelope that there are no uh, heat losses inside the space so there'll be uh, virtually zero heating demand in, in the building. Um, so that, uh, that level of um, Technology and, and the devices associated with that are, in, in our view, some of, the, uh, some of the leading edge at the moment in Australia and, there's, um, and it represents a, a quite a different approach to standard building construction in, in the Australian context. Uh, from an ecological footprinting perspective, we, we think we're, we're, do, we're doing something that's, um, that's different and, uh, and, and, in our view, uh, special in that we are we're looking at the total life cycle and the total embodied carbon content of every element and every material that's being put into the building. And we are, we're, we're, we're selecting and specifically iterating through a whole range of different materials to uh, quantify the total embodied content of the whole building and actively selecting materials to reduce that total embodied content. So we're looking at uh, demonstrating how um, a building of this nature can be far less uh, uh, involved or far less intense in terms of its embodied carbon content by uh, considering all the sources of which the, the materials are coming from and then actively designing and selecting materials that are better in terms of their ecological footprinting. And so that requires a considerable amount of effort uh, right at the start of the design process and uh, we're basically looking forward to seeing how that pans out over the next few months.